Here's another uh, compounding interest problem. Karen invest that much money in a money market account. So that's your principal. Here's my formula down on the bottom. There's my formula. That's your principal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me color code this for you. There's your principal. In a money market account with an interest rate of, there's a rate. R equals, remember you have to move the decimal over, zero, but point zero one seven five. Don't forget that. Compounded semi-annually. Semi-annually means twice a year. So N equals two. There's your N. N equals two. Two goes there and it goes there. Five years later, that's T. Oops, let me change that to a different color. Five years later, that's T. So there's your T. T equals five. So we've got just about everything. She um, withdrew the full amount to put toward the down payment on a new house. How much did she withdraw from the amount from the account? So what are they asking? It, the, she said it said the full amount. That's your A. So the question is, what is A? So you literally just plug 10, in all those numbers. Ten thousand. No, no. Times one plus point zero one seven five all over two, raised to the ten. And your answer is ten thousand nine ten point twenty seven rounded. So they could have asked the question, how much total money did she make? Uh, if they asked how much total money did, did she make, you would take this number and do what with it? Add it to the 10,000. Not add it to the 10,000. She didn't. 10, she didn't make this over. She made the total amount she made was that amount. Right? Because this this one here, basically what that one's doing is it's adding the principal back to it. It's adding your amount back. So this is the total amount. If I said what's the total amount in money and interest that you make? then you would subtract it from that.